All right, gearheads. So behind us here, we have a 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 43 4Matic with the V6 bi-turbo under the hood. That's a lot. Which is basically number and letter soup to you, right? <laughs> yes, yes. But I want to get your thoughts and opinions on a very interesting styled and uh, controversial segment, and that is the SUV coupe. So let's okay. take a quick walk around outside before we hop behind the wheel and see how it drives. Hey gearheads, do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to check out what we're driving before it is here on YouTube, find us on Facebook and Instagram, both at GT Garage Talk. Everything we do, including our award-winning podcast, can be found at gtgaragetalk.com. Huge thanks to Mercedes-Benz and Tyler for loaning us this vehicle to test today. If you want to learn more about everything in their inventory, click the link down in the description below and let them know GT Garage Talk sent you. All right, so first question, Holly, what do you think of the face of this car? It, it is the AMG model, which is probably aimed more at me than it is at you. But then again, it's an SUV family car, so they're definitely trying to appeal to the moms. The moms. I really like it. I think it's pretty. I think it looks like a luxury car it wasn't what i was expecting when you told me what it was um so when you pulled up in the driveway i was like oh that's a pretty car so i really like it i like the i like this yes i know you said it's like you think it's geared towards men but i don't yeah you like uh -uh. it i like it so I, did, I didn't know we were getting a Mercedes <laughs> either, and you know I'm a Mercedes fan. Yes, girl, so. uh, I, I have made you a Mercedes fan uh, through GT Garage Talk. So I do kind of want to go front, front to rear on this and talk a little bit about this because this is the SUV coupe. So there's a GLE that is a traditional SUV, and then there's this one with this kind of swooping roof line. But first, what do you think of the size of this thing? Well, I haven't looked, well, I haven't looked on the inside, first of all, yet. So I can't say. Raw, raw interpretations from the outside. From the outside, I like it. I mean, I like it better from the front than the back. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a squashed out uh, bug. Yep. So Beetle, it, but it, I guess that's the coupe part. Yeah, it does have a very aerodynamic design to it. Uh, kind of a egg shape back here in the rear. Uh, it also I like kinda, it though, it looks like the trunk is really small yeah. though. Is it really small? No, it's actually- I guess actually, it's not, probably big, huh? It's actually quite large from uh, putting in- It's pretty so, tall though. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a hint right here. From putting Ooh. in the uh, car seat here in the back uh -huh. uh, to get that rear latch I really had to stretch over the enormous cargo space. Uh, the trunk is actually quite long oh, and yeah. deep. Yeah, uh, you do that. lose a little with that swooping, swooping roof line versus the traditional uh, GLE squared off back. But uh, yeah, it's, it's actually like got it. That's really quite nice. a bit of room. But it there. is pretty tall. Yep. So, so like for a short, I mean, for a shorty, that if I have something way back there, I'm not getting it without climbing into it. Yep. But I mean, if you're traveling and stuff like that, you got your suitcases can fit yep. way back there. That's and nice. And for uh, size comparison, here is a backpack for uh, space. All right, you mentioned uh, being a shorty, five foot tall, shorty. just a little over. Um, the button to close it is up there. Not too bad from there. No, that's easy. But it is programmable. So oh. you can actually open it down here and then tell it to stop. Oh, and then it'll only and open it remembers that, far? that high. Ah, so there you go. How nice. Does, does it remember? And it, it does. It did. Wow, that's pretty cool. Huh. I like that. 
So I also picked out the red one. Our three-year-old uh, is obsessed with Lightning McQueen and wants a red one. So why don't we get Tucker out here and see his thoughts before we hop in and go for a drive. Yeah, it's red. What do you think, Tucker? Red. You like it? Yep. But does, but does it has button? It does have buttons. Come here. Let's let's look inside. What color is it? Red. Like who? Nanny. Yeah. Look, what do we have in here? My car seat. Your car seat. I need it up there. Oh, you do? One, two, three. Is that a big trunk? Mm -hmm. All right, Holly, so first impressions sitting down in it. What are your thoughts? I like it. It's comfortable. Yeah. Saddle it's brown nice. leather. What, what are your thoughts here? It feel, I like the saddle brown leather. Yeah. And I like the screen is not overpowering. Yeah, uh, nice size. It, it sticks up a little bit. And More if, than what you want. If you turn it on, it warns you not to let it distract you from the traffic situation. Yeah. But we've got uh, synthetic leather wrapped dash, contrasting stitching to match the uh, saddle brown seats here. So I like the two-tone effect. On the inside, it feels sporty. Yes. Which I like. And that's the AMG aspect of it. We've got AMG gauges with the checkered flag in the background like here. You've actually got real, honest to goodness, old school analog gauges for your speedometer, your tachometer, your temp, and your fuel gauge, which I prefer with a little helper screen in the middle that tells you everything else from time, outside temperature, mileage, the adjustable suspension settings, whether you're going up, coming down, uh, whatever you need is right there in front of you. Pretty interesting, nice steering wheel, perforated yeah. leather grips on the 10 and 2. Pretty good grip. I'll, I'll get your opinion when we swap around. I think I'm gonna like it, but. What we're gonna do now is we are on the brick streets of downtown Tyler, Texas, and go over a railroad track and some of the older, rougher sections of the brick street, just to see how well the comfort mode really does in this Mercedes-Benz. Okay. So, what are your thoughts, team man? Is it rough? Is it bumpy? Let's see. It's fun. It's fun. Well, there yeah. you have it. Fun from the three-year-old. So I have been down this stretch of road in sport vehicles that will beat you up. So this kind of floats over it. It's a little on the firm side, but. <laughs> this yeah. brake street makes your head wobble. Yeah. It makes my head wobble too. You ready? <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> well, I think it was smooth. Yeah. As smooth as it could be on that road. Yeah, so it's a large SUV. It's a large midsize SUV, two rows, uh, meant to compete with, uh, from America, the Jeep Grand Cherokee and the like there. So this really is like the ultimate family vehicle from Mercedes, maybe geared towards a little bit older families than ours with that uh, coupe-like roof line cutting into uh, your cargo capacity back there in the back. Overall, it, it's pretty fun vehicle to be in. Um, it's got a little bit of get up and go to it <laughs> when, when it uh, finds the right gear. 3 liter twin turbo or bi turbo V6 under the hood made it to a 9 speed transmission. This is the 4Matic, so that means it's an all wheel drive. 385 horsepower, 384 pound feet of torque. Let's see. I'm just gonna, you know, city drive in. Uh, I gotta pass somebody. What's it do? Ooh. <laughs> what do you think, Tucker? Did it go fast? That was a speed limit. You are correct. 
We don't want to go too fast, right? No. No. What's it like riding in the back seat of this car? Is it fun? Uh, yes. Yes? What do you think of the color in here? You like the color on the outside? What color is it on the outside? Red. Red. What do you think of this? We've got our car right here on the screen. Isn't that cool? So what else does this screen do? Well, I guess I can just play with it. So this is not actually a touch screen. It's oh. all controlled mm, down yeah, here. Yeah, this little mousey Yeah, thing. so you've got a touchpad here, or you can do it with this click wheel down here, or these capacitive touch buttons. So, but it just tells you like about the car. Oh, it's so, got your radio. Yeah, you've got your navigation, your radio, your media, your telephone, which you could uh, dial old school wise there. Um, but yeah, gives you a little bit of everything. Not my favorite interface. Like you instinctively yeah. went to touch the screen. Yeah, I, I think that is aside from the fingerprint issue my go-to preference just because it is so much easier you don't have to click or figure out how you navigate well, you just touch it. Just... all right so back on the historic brick streets of downtown tyler we're gonna go from comfort and test out the five other drive modes in this so right now like i said we're in comfort on the brick streets we're gonna go to sport which kind of firms everything up just a little bit changes this the throttle tuning it's kind of hard to hear the engine over the sound of the brick streets actually mm -hmm. and now we're going to go to is sport. that what you want in the sport mode you want to hear the engine yes. yeah. <gasps> oh, okay. oh, oh. and then we're going to go to sport plus which firms up everything more i did hear the engine kind of rev up because it's changing the throttle response on that one um and it did get a little more rattly in here mm -hmm. so um it, it is definitely a firmer ride, and that's meant to help you uh, get spirited around the corners and, you know, have a little fun in your coupe SUV. So, yeah. Uh, look, you say that, and you said earlier that it was a controversial coupe yeah. SUV, but I think that's what some people want, right? Yeah, they want the sleek styling of a coupe, they want the ride height but, but, of yeah. the SUV yeah. and the storage of it all. Right. So it, it Why can't you have it all? You can have it all. You can have it all just at the expense of a little bit of rear cargo storage. Mm. Which you and I covered when we were doing a walk around outside. It's still got plenty it's of cargo still space. Big, yeah. Back there in the back. I think we've had enough of woo me driving. <laughs> So why don't we find a spot and switch around and see what Holly thinks. All right, what I really love about this for the two of us is it's got three person memory seat. So you are in a drastically different seating position than I was yeah. and we can just hit me the memory button, hold the number two or number one and- it Or remembers, number three. And it remembers exactly three. where I had it. That's awesome. I love that. Yes. Um, memory seats will be on our next vehicle for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right. Now, how do you get it into drivers? I know. Oh, do you know? Well, we shouldn't be driving. <laughs> All right. So we've actually got a 360 degree camera system in here. See, I'm ready for a Mercedes. I mean, I yeah, know. you are. We've got trajectory lines, which I love. And then you've even got, you can do a 180 view that gives you a clear view back behind you mm, and nice. in front of you. So I like the trajectory nice. as well. Shows you everything and kind of where you're going to end up going. Okay, as I suspected, I like the steering wheel. Yeah? I do. What in particular do you like so much about it? It feels sporty. Yeah. You <laughs> like the perforated like, leather? Yeah. I metal. also like that you can move the steering wheel up and down, which I know most cars you can, yeah. but some cars for a shorty, it doesn't come down far enough. And yeah. this one has a really big range. So I like that. So cruising around the brick streets, downtown Tyler in the Mercedes AMG GLE 43 4Matic Coupe. I'm sure I, I messed that up somewhere. 
What are your thoughts piloting this thing? How does it feel size-wise? Size-wise, it feels good. Yeah. It feels bigger than what I'm currently driving. Yeah, and your 2014 Jeep Cherokee. I do believe for our size family, the three of us, that this size class is really where we need to be next. Yeah. Just because, yes, it does have it's more It's probably room. where we should have already been. That's with true. Kid gear. Yeah. Baby uh, gear. And all the accoutrement that goes with yeah. children. Uh, plus, the back seat is usable for adults, and we can actually get two in there with a child seat, whereas in our compact SUV, not so much. So th this yeah. is just a more friendly size for our life stage right now. Yeah. And you had mentioned it earlier. I really like the saddle brown and black two-tone in here. I do. Uh, we've got heated and ventilated seats. I like that. <laughs> we've got all the drive modes here. And, you know, we we're talking about heated and ventilated seats. We haven't even spoken of I the know. heated and cooled cup holders that up front ultimate and luxury i know talk about being you, pampered yeti who we don't need a no. yeti just, just have our our mercedes benz i think that's especially good for hot hot beverages drinks yeah well i'm just thinking of you know all the iced coffee runs that i've made keeping them nice and cool mm. by the time i I get back to you so that all or the, the frozen custard. Oh, yes. To go. Yes. All in all, it is a comfortable vehicle. It is a properly sized vehicle. If it weren't raining outside right now, uh, I might even pop this roof, which this does have a large panoramic roof on it. And it's one single sheet of glass over half of the back seat and all of the front seat. And it actually opens up quite well quite wide wow that's harder to say than i thought it was <laughs> and it do, does a great job of bringing in light in here but like i said it opens up quite wide yeah i like it it's very nice some knocks i might have for it uh coming into the modern era with our large smartphones there's not like a just a, a go-to place for it yeah uh, that, what about in here I mean, I mean, I guess you don't want it in there. Then. Yeah, there. Even still, that's like too big, and then it's like hidden from you. So that's a little bit odd for me. I used to not be a fan of these dual split uh, opening center consoles because I thought it was weird. But it does allow for one person to get in without disturbing the elbow of the other. Yes. yes. Is that a problem? No. Currently? No. I would, yes, it you know, is. <laughs> no. I, all right. So quickly, before we take this back, I do want to make sure I get the proper specs because as you've been poking fun at me today, there are a lot of letters and numbers on this <laughs> particular model. So this is the Mercedes AMG GLE 43 Coupe 4 which means it's all-wheel drive. This does have the three liter twin turbo V6 under the hood, producing 385 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. And it is mated to a nine speed automatic with which it actually does have, a, I call flappy paddles, but paddle shifters on the backside of the steering wheel uh, right here oh. for you to shift manually if oh. you so choose. Oh. Now, being that this is a family review, and we've got all of us in here, and the weather is less than ideal today, uh, we're not going to go hunting down any curvy back roads, but that is the appeal of this particular model, being an AMG, uh, being the coupe, is that it has that sporty appearance and athleticism baked right in. Uh, it does have the Sport Plus, which tightens everything up and makes it sound racier and feel racier i'm gonna while you're driving i'm gonna turn it to sport plus and just see what you have to say oh i've been it. driving in comfy mode yeah you've been driving hmm, in comfy mode i thought it was sport mode go straight through the light if you can all right so we're gonna try sport sport plus Heard the exhaust bark at us a little bit. You getting racy on me, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Dynamic Whoa. Spark. Yeah. 
see? <laughs> Spore Plus. Spore Plus. Kind of fun, huh? No, it was fun. It definitely gets up and goes more faster. So, Sport Plus is noticeably different. You noticeably different. <laughs> so I'm going to put it back in comfort for you. Okay. Which, again, changes the engine steering and uh, suspension. But why do it pass? Because <laughs> I put it in sport mode for mommy. Final thoughts? I like it. I really like it. I like the size. I like the steering wheel. <laughs> I, I've turned you into a Mercedes fan. You have turned me into a Mercedes fan, so. I knew you would um, appreciate. You knew I would like it. I knew you would appreciate me like coming home with a Mercedes. It's hey. nice. Um, I would like to take a road trip with it and test out the cup holders. Yes. I would like to put some miles on this. We only have it for the afternoon, thanks to our friends at Mercedes Benz and Tyler. But just able to get inside and see and feel and experience what it's like, what it would be like in our home environment is very nice. Uh, if you want to learn more about what we are driving and what we are doing, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you are notified every time we post a new video. If you want to see what we're driving and doing before and in between car reviews, find us on Facebook and Instagram, both at GT Garage Talk everything we do, including our award-winning podcast, is at gtgaragetalk.com. Until next time, she's going to take us home, and uh, we're going to enjoy this Mercedes for just a little bit more time. You want to know what the 40K right family is like? <laughs> this is it right here. We like tooting when we poop. <laughs>